Yeah. What's up, you guys? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel today. You guys, we missed you yesterday. Yes. Apologize about that. We actually had an issue with our SD card with our camera. It totally bogged out on us. And also, you guys, I just was not feeling the best myself. Yep. So we decided to take the day. So yeah. we are sorry about that, but we are back at it today. We are back at it. I am feeling better, so that's good. <laughs> yes. We are actually out front of Target and TJ Maxx. We mm -hmm. have a bunch of errands we have to run today. Yes. As you guys know, we are preparing for our trip. We leave on Monday morning. Speaking of that, Brittany's like dressed up for winter already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I probably Probably kind of overdressed today a little bit. <laughs> Thinking it was like, you know, winter. I'm just in the Utah yeah, vibes. Uh, what yeah. am I going to take to Utah? You guys, I don't even have a pair of boots. So guys, I'm I don't buy have a like any winter clothes. I was buying clothes out there last time we were there. Yes, we did keep quite a few of our clothes <laughs> out there last time just yeah. in our car. So we're not going to have to pack too much. And, but we're we'll probably going to have to purchase a few things when we, we get We may out have there. to go check actually our storage unit. Yes. See we if do. there's anything in there. Yep, that would be awesome. You know, dig through all of that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we're super excited. We have some fun plans in store for for you tonight. It is the Fort Lauderdale Christmas Boat Show. It's oh. called Winterfest and it is going to be our first time seeing it so we cannot wait for that. So we are going to hurry and get all of our Saturday errands done. Britt might be getting ahead of herself right here in the baby clothes. No, I'm not. So you guys, I'm so excited. We're going to meet our brand new little baby niece, Skye, when we go out there. My oh, brother. yeah. So we got to take a present. So we're picking out a little outfit to take to them. Um, but Target has so many cute, like, wintry ones. It's hard to choose. I know. They have a ton of different ones here. So many selections. And the deals are actually pretty darn good. Cute yeah, girls. that is really cute. I love it. So <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. I think we found some contenders. Look how cute. I actually got Nora, my other niece, this before, and it is darling. But this one's really cute, too. <laughs> I think the green is just... Britt did ask for my expert opinion. Yeah. So. I, I do think the green is just so cute. That's perfect. All right, guys, believe it or not, we actually do not have a crock pot. <laughs> I've always borrowed a few neighbors, so we are going to pick one up. I'm planning on your crock pot milk. No Oh yeah. One of them being to tomorrow. I'm making hot roast, so stick around Ooh, for that. Oh yeah. Alright guys, we just got back home and we're actually gearing up right now for the Fort Lauderdale Winterfest Boat Show which happens once a year and we could not be more excited about it. So it actually doesn't start for a couple more hours but we decided to make some dinner right now. That way when the boat show is here we can have some dinner. But you guys, it's pretty cool to see it. Right over here, I know it's like super bright it's hard to see, but right over there is that bay and there's so many boats lining up to watch the show tonight. It's gonna be so cool. I seriously cannot wait. We've never seen anything like this before. Well, I actually I take that back. Technically, we saw the first year we were here, so a year ago today. But the thing is, is that we didn't realize that what it was at the time. And so now that we know what it is, like we are so excited to watch it. But not only to be able to watch it, but we can watch it from our balcony and from our complex. So we could not be more excited about this. about because I got a rice cooker. Jared lived over in the Philippines and he had rice yeah. all the time, the good kind of rice. And when I lived over in Switzerland, I actually had rice a ton too. So we actually just got this off Amazon. Oh, I've yeah. used it a couple times, but I'm so <laughs> excited to show you guys because there's some pretty cool features with oh, this yeah. rice cooker. First of all, look how cute it looks. Yeah, yeah. This is Toshiba rice cooker. I actually love it. It has a little handle right there. You see that? I know. It's so sleek. You can I know. move it anywhere. It's so cool. So I just pull it out when I'm making my rice. So I have it out. It has an LED screen, which is oh, awesome yeah. in as fact, well. Let's show you this little bling, huh? Yeah, look at that LED screen. Ooh. Super simple. But there's other features that we love about it. This is just not your ordinary rice cooker. Oh so no. 
Most rice cookers, <laughs> if you're familiar with rice cookers, they yeah. have one pot like yep. this, yep. which I do have to say really quick, this makes it so easy because they actually have measurements right on the pot so you know exactly how much water to put in, whether you're doing white or brown rice, which yep. is awesome. It has a stainless steel insert. Yeah. So what you're probably wondering, well, what is that for? <laughs> I know, right? You can do a few different things. So this is actually to make low carb rice. Isn't that crazy? So it takes a lot of the starch out of it. What it does is it raises it up from the water that it's steaming in and it makes it lower carb. How awesome is that? No, it's so cool. In fact, I'm gonna geek out real quick. On the Amazon listing, it says it removes up to 37% of unhealthy digestive starch. Yes. You guys <laughs> so know cool. us, you know that we have some of those issues from Oh time. yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out my rice really quick. So what's awesome with this little insert is you can actually rinse the rice beforehand to get rid of excess oh, yeah. as well, right in here. And the rice kernels don't slip through the strainer. So Brittany, my question to you is, do you know how much you rinse it? Yeah, until it runs clear. Yep, until the water oh, runs clear. Oh, he didn't think I had oh. that. that is all rinsed, it's running clear. And then basically all you do, you add your water to it. And then basically from there, it's super simple. There's a setting for a low carb, Quick rice, white rice, brown rice. You can also steam, do quinoa, mixed grain, and also oatmeal, which is really awesome. We are doing white rice, so I just select that. It'll be ready in 50 minutes, and then just hit start. And we Boom! Have perfectly fluffy <laughs> rice. But here's the best part. We actually reached out to Toshiba, and we asked them if we could actually give you guys a promo code when ordering this on Amazon, and they said yes. So if you guys wanna try out this low carb rice cooker, our promo code is 10 Jared Brit. Oh yeah. Guys, this is awesome. Okay, so we just finished up with dinner. I know it's like pretty dark out right now, but the boat show is coming through right now, the it's whole winter fest. So cool, we it's got on, awesome. I'm representing. <laughs> yeah, see. Brittany's representing it. Oh my gosh, there's fire going off. They're shooting them off They're the going boat. off of the boat. This is so cool. That is awesome. This is awesome. For any of you that do not know, this boat show is called Winterfest and it happens right here in Fort Lauderdale, but pretty much everyone decks their boats out in Christmas lights and then there's a giant parade that goes up and down the intercoastal. And luckily, we live literally right on the intercoastal, so we have a front row seat to it. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. That is big, that's a big boy. That right there, you guys, is a boat. I cannot believe how many people are here, but not only that, I mean, look at this. The bridges are up, boats keep coming through, they're all decked out in Christmas lights, and they all have some type of theme to them. This one's like hip-hop, the one before that was like 50s. It is so cool. But the coolest thing, guys, is we are literally right in our harbor right here. We just had to walk down the yeah, stairs. Yeah, that is... Oh, check out this one. This is Big Blue coming in right now. This thing is massive, and look how many lights are on it. Whoa! This little Santa boat we got here, and then right behind them are some kayakers. That's the first we've ever seen that before. That is crazy. These people are literally kayaking in the intercoastal. There's gotta be some type of engine attached to that thing. I don't know. But that is so cool that they're kayaking with Christmas lights on in the middle of the dark at Winterfest. This is awesome. And then this one's kind of like a fishing boat that's like medium size, but man, that is just so cool. What a cool tradition that Fort Lauderdale has. Okay, this one coming through right now is awesome. 
This is a sailboat, you guys, but rather than obviously having to sail up, it has, well, also a sail up, but made out of Christmas lights. My goodness, this is so cool. Okay, guys, there's one coming in right now that has like fire throwers or something like that on it. It seriously looks so cool. If you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, definitely go check us out at Jared and Britt. Brittany is getting some of the coolest Instagram stories. Hey guys, we're gonna go back up to the roof to get another vantage point. What's really fun are a lot of the yachts just in our marina right here have Christmas lights, Christmas trees on. Man, people are barbecuing, everyone's out on their balconies. This is just awesome. So Brittany and I are actually debating which view we like the most. Up and here where you can like oversee them all? Or yeah. down close where I know. you can see like the details. I, I know. like up here. I kind of like up here too. It's just because you can kind of see everything from up here, which is really cool. Otherwise... Down there you're kind of waiting one by yeah. one. They slowly come through, which is still cool. Yeah, it's just still cool. And there's a ton of people down there. Up here, I'm really surprised there's not more people up here yeah. on the balcony. There's like no one in that one boat is just going crazy on the foghorn, so cool. We are back at our apartment, and I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be my favorite spot so you guys, far. <laughs> this is awesome, we're in the luxury of our own hats, we got our doggies here. That is so cool, and we can see it all right there. Just pass right by. What's funny is actually last year, when we first moved here, I remember looking out and seeing boats go by with Christmas lights, and I was yeah. like, oh, that's cute. We had no idea it was this big parade. Yeah, we had no Everything. idea, which is just so funny to think about. Guys, it's pretty crazy. We have been here a full year. I cannot <laughs> believe it. It's literally flown by. Speaking of which, look at our two little boys. Oh, hello. You know, it's just like at nighttime. I posted a really funny story of these two this morning. I did the story stuck in the middle of you. <laughs> and they were both on each side of me. And then I did yeah. a really cute little reel of Finn too. Yeah. It's so fun. Just stealing huh? the show, huh? Yeah. Guys, stuff like this is just seriously such a cool experience and a tradition that Fort Lauderdale has. It's one of the Many reasons why we have definitely fallen in love with this city. We were just gonna basically spend the rest of the night watching Winterfest cruise on by. It is seriously so cool. <laughs> Today has been awesome. You guys, thank you so much for joining us. It makes you come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last day here in Florida before we take off to Utah. So lots of packing. I'm actually making a really good Sunday dinner. So stay tuned for that. And until then, we will see you all next time. See you guys, love ya, bye.